What's up, people? Good to see you. How are you doing? Happy Friday to you. I am, uh... I'm okay. I'm doing okay. This Friday. Fywin, good to see you. Hey, hey. So, sorry. No Stellaris from me tonight. I'm, uh... My brain is a little too fried for Stellaris. I just need to blow some stuff up, you know? So, we're gonna do some cyberpunk. Oh, shit. This is a, uh... Oh, I didn't realize that was hostile territory. Damn. Alright. So we're off to a good start. Also, I'm used to playing this on... Steam Deck, ironically enough, so I always have to relearn the controls. Let's see, F is execute. It's fine, I'm kind of pissed off with Stellaris now. Oh no! What happened, man? Sorry to hear that. I'm just gonna hack a few people, don't mind me. Upload the software to start the car. Okay. Bruh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, I think uh, quick hacks don't kill people. So, in general, I prefer to quick hack people to death. Or, well, to uh, submission. Oh, shit. That's the wrong button. I have to heal. But, you know, sometimes they just, they, they want to die, you know? I saw your post um, in the Paradox channel, and uh, I wish I understood more, <laughs> you know? Because I, I didn't know, I don't know enough to know, or to even have a guess what the... Uh, was it Calamity? Crisis. Crisis. What the crisis is going to be. I'm being harassed on a war by two empires. Anyway, I'm probably going to play tomorrow again. Okay. Well, I like that it hasn't ruined the game in total for you. <laughs> but that's frustrating, yeah. When you have two empires assaulting you. That's a nice bike. I like this one. Oh. I thought we took out everyone, but no, we got a couple people left. Oh, three? There are three people left? I'd start running if I were you. Would you? Would you start running? Because, dude, you're going to get contagioned to death. I'm starting to get these, like, tier 3, 4, and 5 things. So I guess I'm starting to get, you know, a good ways into the game. Let's see, how do I... How do I put this away? I don't actually want this gun out. Put the gun away. Ooh. 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 What's this? Skill shard. They introduce these skill shards. They're pretty cool. So you get them and they level up one of your... um. I don't want to say skills, but different aspects of your character. Oh, basically because there are two crises with high probability to appear on egg game if you research dangerous technologies, red color. But appeared the crisis that doesn't have... The requirement. Okay. Well, dang. Sorry to hear, uh... You're dealing with, uh... You're dealing with a crisis. Oh, shit. Yes. 
Wait, what the fuck? What do you mean I failed? <laughs> I'm uploading the virus. Why did it say I failed? Oh, did it just, like, glitch out? I think it did. Okay. So, I didn't do uploading the virus in time or something. And so, when I did it here, the game didn't know what to do. Alright, alright, we're gonna load. That was our warm-up round. <laughs> oh, jeez. Still glitches in this game. Some of them can be annoying. In general, not too bad, but, you know. I may get a phone call while I'm streaming, by the way. I like the crisis to deal with my competence. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy. Okay, fair enough, yeah. If it's messing up your enemies, that's, uh, that's a good thing. God dang it, this is bothering me. How do I put away my weapon? Hold on. Let's let's look here. Controls. Holster weapon. Where is this? Control scheme. Yeah. Y button, draw weapon, but I'm using keyboard. <laughs> Why is it showing me a controller? This is not the control scheme. Key bindings, here we go. It's like gas, chlorine, fuge. You only need to run and what the other... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So if you can survive while... Um... Oh, it's B? That's weird. If you can survive while other people cannot, then yeah, we're good. Oh, we gotta hack this. Hang on. I'm... By the way, I'm a Netrunner build in this. It's like the cyberpunk version of uh, Stealth Archer. It's a lot of fun. Shit. I screwed up. Alright, so I didn't get the basic data mine, but I got the other two. Got the more important ones. Ooh, new perk point? Really? Wait, what? Oh no, I gotta level up one more. I've never played Cyberpunk. Well, um, maybe you can get a, get a taste of it tonight. Let's see what the game's all about. Decide if it's your jam. And if not, well, then you know better. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get up here. Um, oh, wait. Get into Jake's car. I don't want to fail the mission again. Where's the car? Deliver the vehicle to Jake Estevez. All right. Oh, is this going to be... Ooh, this thing handles like shit. Um, is this going to be one of those vehicle combat missions? I bet. I think it is. That's something they added with the uh, Phantom Liberty. Well, no, with 2.0. They added vehicle combat. Oh my god, this thing cannot turn. The handling is really terrible. This is not how you should drive in real life, just so people are aware. Ew, left hand drive car. Look, look. I can't help it, you guys do it the wrong way over there across the pond. 
No, what's up, Crafty? Good to see you, man. Hope all was all was well. Look how how many NPCs there are. So many. Hi, officer. I hope you don't mind if I drive here. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. She's fine. She's fine. Whew, good thing she's not dead. Then the officer would care. They actually do care if they're dead. All is good, dude. Got a fully empty week next week. Oh, I'm jealous. That's great. Glad to hear. You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. Know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, <laughs> always choose the ride. Always choose, okay. You know that a ride's never gonna betray you. Damn, man. No faith in people. Okay. Gig done. Life's work. That was a really bland gig, I'll be honest. It was like steel car. Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. It's like a traffic jam. What's going on, guys? Closing the contract. Hydrate! Oh, thanks, Crofty. I've been playing a lot of Swator this past week. Really enjoying it. What is that? I feel like I know what this acronym is, but I can't think of it. Star Wars The Old Republic? Something like that? Is that right? By the way, this is um, sparkling water. Strawberry mango. Not sweetened. So I'm counting it as hydrate. Cheers. Got it in one, buddy. Nice. See, I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I know. I know some stuff. Oh, dude, we're playing, um... I take it you're a Star Wars... Uh, aficionado fan? Anyway, we're playing, uh... Star Wars The Force Awakens in our community band. Here in a couple weeks. At a Halloween concert. And we're playing John Williams in concert, which includes some Star Wars. Okay. I don't really want to do the Pan Am one yet. Um. So let's see. What else we got? We have lots of stuff to work on here. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually beat... Before Phantom Liberty, I beat all the side content. I cleared everything. Well, alright, there are probably some random, uh... Like... No, I did all the Cyber Psychos. I think there were just some random, you know, like, police assaults and things like that. Because I don't think those ever end. But... Let's see, where should we go? Dude! How on it? Thanks for contributing. Guys, we're 95% the way there. The sequels don't exist, but yes, I guess I am. <laughs> but that's like a lot of movies. Wait, you only believe in the original trilogy? That sounds cool, dude. Thank <laughs> thanks, for, uh, cool thanks for the cool story, bro, reaction. Let's see, where do we want to go? Let's do War Pigs. This is a nice one. Um, well, actually, I can't say if it's a nice one. But it's about my corpo past. Yes, yes. I used to be a corpo before I was burned. He tried to kill me. Whoop. Almost wrecked. The motorcycle handling in this game 
I feel like it's pretty good. All right, what kind of rock do we want? I kind of want some, you know, Johnny Silverhand stuff. Some carry uridine. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's not great. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, police don't care. All right. You got to be careful in Night City, man. Sidewalks are not safe. Alright, I like this. OT and prequels, of course. Okay, okay, fair. Fair enough. I've basically only seen, let's see, the original... I almost said the original series. Star Wars, the original series. No, the original trilogy. And... Let's see. Episode 1? I think that's all I've seen. Um, I'm more of a Star Trek person, for better or worse, which is, you know, mainly for better. But I will say, you know, Disney had this, uh, like, Star Wars experience where it's, like, immersive and you live there for, like, two or three days. And that sounded, like, legit awesome. It's just unfortunate that... You know, it's ending. Or maybe already ended. Whoa! Oh! Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Man, you're missing out. Episode 3 is the greatest. Be careful on motorcycles. Try this again. So I get for talking about Star Wars. God dang it! I cannot stay on my motorcycle. Get away. Get away from the bike. Alright. 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 Let's go. I got a need for speed. And it's killing me. But like, yeah, I mean, dude, look at this game. Come on, don't you want to ride around in this world? It's so cool. This game... This game is so cool, I'm just saying. <laughs> Ecking, please tell me you don't drive a motorbike in real life. I can honestly tell you I do not drive a motorbike IRL. That's why I'm still here. But, um, I did drive a scooter. I don't know if that's what you call them over there. But basically, like, a gas-powered, like a Vespa, you know? Like that kind of thing. I drove that in high school. Did not die. Always wore a helmet, of course. Never had any major wipeouts. I was so scared of wiping out. I was, like, super careful. A moped, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're usually called, like, scooters here. Oh, bro, what's going on? Yo, what are you guys doing? Okay, one of those for you. Oh, wait. Oh, I did a short circuit on him? Let's do a contagion on you. Um, let's give you an overheat for good measure. Alright, have fun, guys. This is the fun thing. <laughs> just, I, I love just, like, wiping them out from afar. Just, you know, 
few little hacks is all it takes. That's it. Uh, but no, sorry. Um, I was looking at getting an electric motorcycle yesterday. I used to sit in the lifeguard chair when I was a teenager. I would sit in the lifeguard chair and I would think about how many hours I had to lifeguard to be able to afford a uh, Kawasaki Ninja. And the, the math was never good. <laughs> but... You know. I'm thinking about it again. It's been a long time since then. Maybe I can make it happen now. Why an electric one? I just hate messing with gas. And, you know, back then, it wasn't realistic to, like, have an electric option because batteries were not that good on these kind of vehicles they have to be good now right like i feel like there have to be electric motorcycles that are pretty good these days huh. miss the warmth of the corporate lap that unique thrill of internal power struggles what i've got a score to settle is all aha i knew it i knew it i knew it Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Your piece need oiling? Guitar needs tuning, maybe? <laughs> hmm, I get it. Fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. <laughs> Some people say, like, Keanu Reeves is not good in this role. But I think it's great, you know? I mean, if you can get 300 or so miles in an electric car... Surely an electric bike has similar, if not greater, range. See, that's my logic. Empty. Huh. Damn. <laughs> Hello, V. Man, time flies. Whoa. You're a death. Just ain't what he used to be. Your wife? Word inferred. But Abernathy is purging the depth. Purged me. They took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. Gonna prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. Ah. Uh. So you make your move, stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter? And you think Abernathy will welcome you back, arms outstretched? That's about the size of it. Now turn. Hands on your head. Hop to it. I turned. Uh, Listen, Frank. I'm nobody to Abernathy. Dude, you're gonna get owned if you try to do this. If she ever knew. You had it in for her, V. We're setting her up. People don't forget shit like that. No, that wasn't me. That was Jenkins' thing. He used me as his tool. So what? Back to the office. Recently fired employee walks in, gun in hand. Yeah, dude. Shoot me. This is just a bad decision. So what am I supposed to do? Huh? What the fuck can I do? Oh, that's cool. Close book, Frank. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. This isn't Steam. I can't just, like... Okay, hold on. Bear with me. Uh, alright. Um, Suzuki Bandit. I want to see this. Oh, that's pretty legit. That's a good-looking bike. What year? But let me look up. Whoa, Kawasaki Ninja. 2006. Oh, wait, so... Oh, no, 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 this is 2005. Where's the 2006? Nice. Yeah, it's good looking, man. GSF 1200? Awesome. 
Yeah, let's see. Kawasaki Ninja. Look, it's only 22 bucks on Amazon. I wish. I wish. No, I, I always like the looks of these. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks more like... I don't know if modern is the right word. I'm not a big fan of, like, the classic chopper type of, you know, like, Harley Davidson aesthetic. I like the sports bike look. That is a good looking bike, I gotta say. Very green. Yeah, I mean, I can respect the green, but I would probably get... I don't know if I would get this, like, dark gray. I think I'd get blue. Let's see. What's it look like in blue? Blue. Actually, I don't even really like this one. <laughs> I don't really like that. I like I like this. Okay. Okay. I like this like navy. That's nice. Um But yeah, I I was thinking like electric uh uh You can even see I was searching stuff. Motorcycle. Wait, Harley Davidson has something. Hold on. Live wire electric motorcycles. Live wire one. Ready to take you beyond the limitations of combustion. The live wire one electric motorcycle includes a revelation powertrain assembled by Harley Davidson in the USA. Fast charging capability, world class suspension and range and advanced rider aids for an evolved riding experience. Look at that. Um, I don't know why they shout one. I hate when places do that. Okay, here's the range. So we were talking about range, 300 miles per car. Combined, or city slash combined range. So about 100 miles combined. In the city, almost 150. Search for Derby? I'm not a big, no, no, I... Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not like a motorcycle person. It's just that I was recently thinking of this again and Crofty <laughs> brought it up. So isn't HD the guys that claim to be American made, but actually made in like Vietnam? I mean, I don't know. I would, I bet some components are made in Vietnam, but honestly, like a lot of, I, a lot of car companies are assembled in the U S but a lot of the components are made in other places. Um, I don't know if that's true for motorcycles, but yeah, Derby. Okay. It's a brand. Um, okay. Let me search that after I finish this, I got to order my, you know, order my new bike. Live wire won $23,000. Yeah. Right. Ooh, S2 Del Mar is only 15,000. Okay. Okay. Let's see. But let's look at that S2. Del Mar. Is that also electric? Hang on. Reserve. It's electric, right? L1 and L2 charging, 3 second. Okay, yeah, it, it's also electric. This one's cheaper. All right, 15,000, man. That's good. City range, 113 miles. Level 2 charge, 78 minutes. Uh, Ships later this year. Okay, all right. That's actually, that's not too bad. I mean, I can't afford it, but... <laughs> Only 23K? I want to pay more. Well, you know, that's the cool thing. They will let you pay them more. The S2 Del Mar looks nice, but what is up with those mirrors? Oh, hold on. Is that different than how mirrors usually are on bikes? <laughs> I don't know. I like this 3D rendering that you can look around. Okay, Derby. 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 
I guess this is what we're doing today, guys. We're not actually playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> Usually I think mirrors go straight out, not zigzag like that. Um. Okay. I'll take your guys' word for it, because I don't know. Which derby? Oh, you didn't say it. Excuse me. Which killer one? Is there a... Um, oh, nude. What is this? Oh, oh, I don't think I could show that. That's that's nude. No, I'm joking. Um, do they have electric? Derby electric. They don't have electric, right? Nothing comes up when they search that. I mean, okay. Looks looks good. This guy looks very uncomfortable. I don't know if that's the best way to ride, but, you know. Whatever they feel like doing, I guess. I'm joking. Um... Yeah, okay. That's cool. I don't think off-road is the right environment for electric. Oh, these are off-road bikes? Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't I don't think you want <laughs> electric there. Got to refigure your life. Game over. Start again. Start again. Got nothing to start with. Left. That's the whole point of starting. Add a little gumption, you're good to go in NC. Just keep it together, Frank. Nothing like running into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, the golden olden days. <laughs> Not in the mood, Johnny. Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Have a nice night, V. I'll be at home. Cool. Well, that was a nice, uh, <laughs> that was a nice mission. You basically show up there, guy threatens you. The end. Who stole Keanu's arm? He's Johnny Silverhand. He's got a silver hand. I actually don't know the whole story behind that, so if someone knows, please tell me. Well, you can kind of tell by the tires. Scratch that might have been the dumbest thing I've said. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was going to believe you. Hang on. Aren't these tires, like, I don't know, aren't they more off-roady? <laughs> I was gonna believe you. Okay, so. Um, I did max out my technical ability. Which is fun. I'm an edge runner now, guys. I'm running the edges. I think next thing I'm going to do is intelligence. Max that out and then distribute just between the others. And we're back on the bikes. <laughs> Look, I'm giving the people what they want. Howlinettis people. I think. Or perhaps a relatively basic AI chatbot might be how on it, but. Oh, yeah, I feel like these look. These look like off-road tires, right? Like, look, you gotta, you gotta grip the, the dirt with, the, with these bad boys. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, what should I put this perk point in? Do you guys play this game? You, you don't play this game, do you? Um. Dude, I, I need to get to this next level. Um, because then... Yeah, this is going to be way better for, like, quick hack stuff. Damn it! Not enough. This 
so let's put this yeah a little bit less damage that's always good do i notice something else um it's higher up here off the ground so rocks don't fucking destroy your your bike i don't know no mud flaps. Oh. Okay. Fair. I think. Oh. Guys, um. <laughs> give me 30 seconds or disappear. Sorry, I do have to take this call. I'm gonna leave you with some.
Okay, I'm back. Um, this is really loud, huh? Okay. Is anyone still there? I hope I got everyone to leave so I can finally just play the game. And now look at bikes. New viewer who dis. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ekingsan. I sometimes stream games, but usually instead I answer my wife's phone calls. No, she drove like four hours, and so I, uh. Yeah, she was just calling to say she made it fine. And that she's destroying my car. No, 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 I'm kidding. She's not. What's a bike? I'm a visual learner. <laughs> F you guys. <laughs> you suck. Okay. What, what, what bike we want to look at now? Um. Let me see if I can find. Scooter. Yes. 150cc blue. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, dude, this is like. Hold on. I'm trying not to show you bikes now. I mean, I drove something like this for a time in high school. Well, not, I mean, I didn't really drive it in high school, but my dad bought one. And I rode it, you know, to some athletic events. Rode it out to see my girlfriend at one point, who's now my wife. Fucking gross. <laughs> Dude, when gas was over four dollars a gallon and i was making like less than seven dollars an hour that shit was amazing because it got i got like 80 miles per gallon like like something absurd for that time um and the whole thing only cost like six hundred dollars it's kind of amazing and just for some you know points of reference that four dollars a gallon now, are then is the equivalent of like five dollars and thirty cents now. So, it was like really rough. Wait, let me European that. <laughs> Sorry, multiply by one point six or whatever. So it got like a hundred twenty miles per or kilometers per gigaflop or whatever you guys use. I can't even like navigate the city while talking. Hold on. It's about seven pounds per gallon in the UK. 150 per liter roughly. God, that's okay. We've never had seven dollar per gallon gas in the US. That's okay. California maybe Maybe for some, like, super premium gas, but for every day, run-of-the-mill, fuck you, normie, everyday pleb, gas, it's never been $7, to my knowledge. Okay, oh, this is a fun one. Let's go. Let's go to the afterlife. Dude, police do not care. What is going on? I stole a car. Hit like four people. I thought they upgraded the police in this game. <laughs> no, nobody cared. But I just did that. All right, well, we got this new ride. This is also how I drive cars, just to be clear. This is how I this is how I get out of my car for work. Just like that. The 
cool thing in Cyberpunk is that you don't have to actually own a car. All the cars are shared. You just take one. I guess that's true in real life, too. You can you can just take a car. I don't recommend it. No. I do not do not suggest doing that. For legal reasons. Alright, how do I get down there, man? Hold up. Oh, shit. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, hiding. V dog, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? I missed a question. Have you ever played... Have you played Per Aspera? I'm sorry, Howlnet. Sometimes I'll read chat. Uh... All right, lay it on me. No, I have not. Net, What's it about? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? A used Mr. Stud? Cheap? Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that saw could run you. Oh, you, you've brought up this game before, right? For you, don't you? Terraforming Mars. Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Oh, it focused... No? I feel like I have heard about this. Is it good? Do you like this? The reviews are mixed. Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of night cola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. I finished it today. It took like 14 hours, the story that is. Do you feel like it was worth those 14 hours? I guess so, if you're asking. At the ready. I just asked because I saw the mixed reviews. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, my man. That's me. Sipping you the deets on the cellar. And luck be with you all the way. What's up, Claire? The Afterwife is so iconic, man. What a cool bar. Someone needs to make this bar IRL. Oh, I'm still in combat? I'm gonna get jumped when I leave here. I got it for free, but yeah, I think the story is pretty good. It had some gameplay issues, not bugs, just weird design. Played most of the game on X16 speed. I don't know how most people finish the game on X1 speed. Wait. I thought he was a cop. I was confused, because it says veteran guard. Tiger Claws. No, we can take these guys out and not feel bad about it. Tiger Claws aren't people. I'm joking, I'm joking. Contagion is great. Because it hops from person to person. You know what's also great? Short Circuit. Done. 
I'll take that. So like what what is the gameplay like? I mean, is it like Harvest Moon on Mars? All right, let's call Reno. R3 and O in zero. Hey, you looking for the book? Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Green. I flipped you the address. Oh, hey now. What movie is this? Okay, where are we going? Coordinates given by Reno. Oh, that's far. Okay. Let's pick up the car. Dude, hurry up and cross. What are you doing? Thank you. I played it for a short time. It's good. Oh, okay. So I got two endorsements here. You guys say it's worth it? I'm going to check it out. Basically produ producing stuff. You start off producing like robots to build for you. Then you start bringing in people from Earth. You need to produce ice and food for them. Then you start terraforming. You play as a sentient AI in charge of the project. Okay, that's interesting. It sounds like Factorio or Satisfactory. Is it like either of those? If that's the case, I think Ergo would also like it. I'm going to have to leave now, guys. 4 a.m. and I'd like to wake up with enough time to go to the gym before it shuts at 5 p.m. Yeah, I, that's a good point. No, thanks for stopping by, Crofty. It's nice to have a late night hangout with you. Have a great weekend and enjoy your week off. Hope to catch you next week. Speak of the devil? Wow. Yeah. Ergo, chiming in just in time. Yeah, so if it's like, like, is it like Factorio or Satisfactory? Kind of. It's much more free in terms of how you build. Okay. I think I remember this. We meet in like a really fancy area. I see you. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's that's you right there, right? Spell book. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my Dude, I am good for the money. Come on. Uh you know, I, I like that you can use these unique dialogues based on your background, but I feel like it doesn't tell me anything of like is this gonna cause a fight? Like I don't know. Ouch. Hardwired customer service just ain't what it used to be. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> sure you do. I got a pretty good idea who you are. Bargain basement dress suit, back alley implants. You're almost a cutout from a corp recruiting brochure. Hang on, this is fun. Let me guess. Found something in a dusty corner of the warehouse, trying to hawk it off on the side. <laughs> Ooh. What would your manager say? 
I mean, not like your KPIs can include your under-the-counter deals. Oh, the fuck you want? Negotiate discounts, huge discounts. Hell yeah. Discount, something real. Keep me from calling your boss. I'll get fucked, scop shitter. Great. Now you got that out of your system. Let's get down to biz. We got a deal, or do I got to make some calls? Just flip to the coordinates. Mm hmm. We'll see. I'll go to cyberpunking. Cyberpunking is uh, it's good. I'm I'm enjoying it. I always just you know one of my favorite things about cyberpunk is just like walking around the world. Like look at this place. It's like it's like a place, you know. I mean, a fucked up place. Don't get me wrong, but it's like a real. I don't know. It's a real place. I like that feeling. We are so close on the Doctors Without Borders girl. I know, 95%. Just needs a uh, generous contributor to push it over the edge. Oh, fuck. Zeta Tech XPR. It's gotta be like 50 years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. Book of Spells. Oh, decrypt it? What? Yeah, hell yeah, let's do that. I look like such a D bag. <laughs> I'm not at all happy with my character's look. That'll get better over time. Um. I am all decked out, though. Look at this. Full-on cyberware. Uh, okay, but what? Need to look at my shards. <sighs> Encrypted. Spellbook. 97%! Oh, nice. Okay, let's crack this. Uh... Copy Bauer. That's the one we need to get. BD E9. BD55. And then. Oh shit. Damn it. There, at least I got those two. Okay, we hacked the shard. So let's go. Doctors without borders. Thanks, Ergo. I tried to donate some points. It didn't seem to work for some reason. Wait, it didn't let you donate at all? Because it says it's complete. Oh, guys, we did it. We did it. We did it. You did it, honestly. Because I can't do anything. Congratulations. Yeah, it said you did. Um. So since we completed the goal, everyone go to the Discord and go to Community Goal Drawing and be sure that you have put your... Damn it. Your game of, uh, of choice. That you would like to win. Because if you are not entered, then you cannot win. Yes, ergo, we can do the Q4. That's the new one. This one took us a while. I think we started this one in June. And we just finished it now. So I don't know if um, Phy Phylon 
if you've posted anything or if you're still here. But if you haven't, you totally should. Alright, let's see what Nyx wants. Wants to do with this book of spells. Yeah, I can never remember how to get to the afterlife. Exactly. Here we go. There we go. Alright, it's over here. That's how you get out of a vehicle. Alright, Ergo, thank you so much for completing that. <laughs> good to see you. Have a good uh good weekend. Peace, fam, friend. Oh, you're gonna talk to me now? Oh, I don't want to drink. They have good music here. So in the afterlife. You got the book. You got my eddies. As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. The tablet's worth heaps more. I know that, and you know that. Maybe it is. But I offered you a price and you accepted it. Any contract can be declared null and void when a party thereto is proven to have acted in bad faith. I have it your way. You are hereby awarded a bonus. Good negotiating, V. Pleasure doing business with you. Later. V. Word of advice. Don't pull shit like that with me. Just don't. Okay, Nix. We'll be just fine. Okay, so we completed that. What else we got? Shoot the thrill. You know what? Yeah, let's try this. I had trouble with this um, first time I played, but I was eventually able to win. But yeah, let's try it again. shit back and force it on someone else you're right there what you want a new friend i do yeah i'm worried about you friend oh so this is in uh Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost jumped to my death. This is in the mega building, right? Also, I think there's a vending machine that will arrive here later on. Unless I'm confusing things. There's like a an AI vending machine. in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Oh, wow. Fortunately, after their rescue... Good uh, hibernation implants. That's, that's interesting. Are you leaving as well, Helenet? If so, ciao. Uh, hey V, about to start. You uh, want to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. 
All right, let's save because I really want to win this. No, that was apparently late. <laughs> Ciao to Ergo. Okay, I got you. Be right back. I get the feeling that he's gone already. Time. Let's start this rodeo. Can't just yet. Not till you get in the. All right. So let's make this happen. All righty, how many we got? Just six? I can't. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. I need a better gun. Uh, something really fast? Reload speed. Now let's try this pistol. No matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits win. Uh, meaning hits on the target. First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real. Because I think it is an iconic pistol, but I don't know. Let's see. So much hype. Three, two. Hey, hey, the hell's that? The hell you doing with that double barrel? It says small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be my other jacket. Looks like a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! Fuck, two. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. All right. Three, two, one. Sixteen out of a hundred. Ah, oh, there's no way I'm gonna make it. I remember there's like a trick to how I did this. I think I need like a semi-auto weapon, or not semi-auto. Um, just a lot faster firing rate weapon. All right, let's try it again. Oops. Because the thing about this little mission mini game thing is it's all about the gun that you use. There's not a lot of skill involved. Ready? Okay. Now let's hold up here. Um, du, 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 du. let's try a guillotine. Oh, that's a fucking good name. Are you serious? Did you glitch out? Hold on. What is going on with this game today? Holy cow. So apparently you save in here and then you reload. It freaks out. Ready? Oh, you can only use pistols. That's yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I need high attack speed. Okay. Dying Knight. This could be a good one. Three, two. Hey, hey. The hell's that? The hell you doing with that? 
Yeah, this is a much better gun for this. See how fast it can fire. Let's do another save. So we don't have to go through that dialogue. Alright, let's do it. See how much faster that is. Nice, B. Real nice. We're gonna get it good, before 30 really seconds. Go, go, go. No, not quite. But we'll be fine. Halfway there, B. Going good. Yeah, 74. So dying knight, that's that's the key. It's a good gun. Fifteen seconds. Look at good speed. Don't fuck it up. Now this is all just icing. Ah, nothing like the smell of powder and hot lead. Stop! Everyone, stop! We're done. First place, B. Hey. He's such an ass. Thanks, Wilson. He sure is pretty. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I don't have enough, do I? Hold on. Nope, no attribute points. That's one nice thing is that you can actually upgrade your skills in the middle of conversations. See you around. Come on. Till next time. But basically, the rest of the dialogue there is to talk to him, and he says, I think that business isn't doing so great. And then you tell him, well, don't yell at your clients. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay. I always procrastinate that one because the first time I did it, I had such a hard time actually beating it. Because I didn't know which gun I should use. So you can only use pistols. That's why it didn't let me aim with the submachine gun. Because it's not a weapon you're allowed to use there. That's such a weird... <laughs> oh, the ads are pretty odd. Synthetic meat. You're in turn three. Got it. See, yeah, the crowds are not... You know, if you go back and you look at some of the older promises of Cyberpunk, the crowds are not what you'd think. But, I mean, those crowds are much bigger than what they are here. But, the, you know, the, it's it, it's not bad. Not a bad NPC count. Uh, you got a drop for a game you don't have. Oh, you got a drop for this game? Interesting. I feel like there is something going on here. Okay, man. <laughs> well, maybe someday you'll get Cyberpunk, and uh, it will no longer be something for a game you don't have.
Uh, I don't really want to do the Bart Moss Collective mission. Alright, let's go get our reward from Wakako. So they've also added these, like, vehicle missions from the, uh, that may be Phantom Liberty, not just 2.0. Uh, but yeah, you see these steering wheel looking icons appearing on the mini-map at the top right. And it means that you have one of those driving missions nearby. Basically, they're usually, like, take a vehicle from one place to another. And people will try to attack you while you do that. I'm not a big fan of them, so I don't really do them. Okay, let's see what Wakaku's got. Jig Jig Street! Ever sharp and snazzy, Doc. Gotta represent, right? Well, well. Who do I spy but we? In my humble parlor, no less. Lukaku. Long time no see. So what brings you here? I can't help asking. How many of those husbands? All went before their time. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Oh, Wakako. She seems pretty ruthless. Well into bed, nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook. Yes. Each of them. Very high in the tiger claws. Ruled Japan Town. The goal was exceeded. They did what made the best eddies, gave them the most pull. So Wait, the community goal was exceeded? We have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, Steve. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bribe. Go see a ripper jock. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable... Oh, yeah. I forgot. You're supposed to get this early on. But... Wait, do I have to go to that specific Ripper Dock? That's pretty annoying. But anyway, yeah. it's. I think it's a smart link. So that way you can use smart weapons. Shit. What's going on? Hold on. Why am I stuck? Why why am I stuck? Uh okay. V, what is going on? Can't handle the clearance. Yeah. I'm burning out on here. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the motorcycle. What the? Alright. Oh, it doesn't count. The community goal only counts if we get exactly the required amount. I'm joking. You know what's funny, though? The call vehicle thing in this game is exactly how Roach works in Witcher 3. 
If you call Roach, he just... Or she? Roach just appears wherever you are. And it's like, where the hell did you come from? So it's nice that they, like, kept that in this game as well. Oops. Missed a turn. Missed an exit. God dang it. I wish it was better marked. It's hard to see where I'm supposed to get off. Wet dream. Okay. We'll go see this Rick Burdock, and then I'll do the drawing, and then I think that'll be it for the night. Sounds like a full, uh, full stream. See, that's how you always gotta get out of your vehicle. What do you got for me, buddy? Doc Rider. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately, can't complain. Max Tech raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up and so my prices. Ha. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Okay, so where's the the freebie? I think it's this one. Yeah, so that mission should be done now. Is that the it? I, is that it? I didn't get any experience. Okay, there we go. Job complete. The gig. No attribute points. I didn't level up or anything. Okay. Well, let's see. Is there anything I can buy from this dude that would be helpful? No, no, that's not what I want. Okay. Like, there's a better version of the Karenzikov. But I never actually really used this thing. Yeah, I, I feel like I should just hold on to what I have. I wish I could get better operating systems. I'm still stuck on this, you know, tier three. I want a tier four. Like, I have tier four in some stuff, but not all. Ooh, this is actually really nice. Tier four OS? Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Instill air covers 15% max RAM when available RAM falls to 
Okay. Let's save. Because it gives you more, like, RAM slots, and it gives you more quick hack slots. It's helpful. Okay. I guess uh, it's probably just going to be us two, but what do we got here? Helen put RimWorld Royalty here. Um, we got... Wait, did you win the last one? <laughs> did I send you your thing? If I didn't, let me know. Excuse me. Because <laughs> you won. I did? Okay. Well, in that case, I'm removing this. Good for you being honest. So you wouldn't, you won't be able to win this time. Because we do, you can't have won any of the last, like the most recent three. So we have, oh, uh, we have Hoagie, we have Barload, we have Geoguy from a year ago. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we got Shadow X. And Howlin. All right. Let's do it. So we got the color wheel spin. We'll decide. That's a nice uh, play on words there. Oh, that's not the one. Yuck. It's not this one either. All right, I'm just going to look on here to see which one did I have bookmarked. Pretty sure I bookmarked it. We all decide. There we go. All right, so. Oh. There's the music that I clicked on. Okay. We're gonna have Shadow X. We're gonna have wrong one. <laughs> My bad. There are multiple wheel decides. Geo guy. Barload. Is this the right one? It's exactly like it, but there's something about it that looks different. I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, so Hoagie won three times ago. How on it? You won last time. <laughs> so you guys are. We only have three this time. Oh my goodness. This is. Look how good these odds are. So, chance to win a game of value up to $30 or DLC or whatever. Like, dude, one out of three chance? Rigged. Bruh, you. <laughs> You're right here. What are you talking about? Okay. All right. We're going to do this. So, we're going to do elimination. I guess it's only for us two to kind of enjoy. Neither of us are benefiting here. Uh, but it's going to be elimination. So whoever it lands on is knocked out first time. So then we'll be down to two. Second time, whoever it knocks out won't get it. And so that'll leave the winner. Ready? We'll only have two rounds. Okay. Reset wheel. Hold on. There we go. Ekings on literally losing on the outcome. No, 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 no. I win because I get to give a gift. Hang on. Okay. YouTube. No, no, no. I win. Drum roll. Yeah. 
Maybe. Oh, Phylon, you're still here. By the way, Phylon, you recently joined the Discord, so I'll give you a chance to do this. <laughs> if you go to Community Goal Drawing and you put a link to a game, you can win a game of value up to $30. But let me say this, so you don't feel rushed. If you want to join, just say yes. If you don't want to join, say no. I'll give you like 15 seconds to say yes or no. This doesn't obligate you to anything. It's just you have a chance to win. I thought you left, so. <laughs> no rush. 15 seconds. No, sorry. I'm rushing him to say yes or no, but no rush. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Fuck me. But I'm saying no rush to decide on the game that you want. If you win, you can decide. But if you don't win, you know, it doesn't matter. But just let me know so I know. I gotta spin the wheel. Because the wheel will decide. I gotta know whether to put a filing here or not. Because once I start spinning, there's no going back. I say yes. All right. There we go. Realwinner.txt. <laughs> Hang on. Is this the thing? I, I'm not going to click that. Okay. We're going to have three rounds now. Yeah. The goal. Okay. The goal for this is to get people to go to the Discord. But you're already there, so I feel okay about it. Um, yeah. You, you're supposed to write link to a game that you want here. I would ask you to do it anyway. Text isn't a top level domain. I don't know why it has a link to realwinner.txt. That's weird. Okay. Whoever it lands on gets eliminated. Ready? You guys ready? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. This is, this happens like to everyone that does this. Okay, remove. Because making anything that has word dot word a link is easy. Yeah. Okay. Round two. GeoGuy is out. I haven't seen GeoGuy in so long, so... <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. Feels bad, man. I know. Oh! You can keep clicking it to make it spin! Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That's good. So Barwood is out! Guess who that leaves? Shadow X! Shadow X is the winner. Rigged confirm. What do you mean rigged confirm? Oh, cause I, cause I hate Barwood. No, I don't hate Barwood. I have no idea who Shadow is. <laughs> Shadow is Hoagie's brother, and he's been on stream a couple times. We played a game together. You can click to keep spinning. Yeah, it's true. I mean, probably yeah. If it looks like it's about to land on someone. You can click to spin it again. <laughs> no, that that's that's for sure cheating. Yeah, you can click. I tried it. You can definitely rig this, okay? But like. Reset the wheel. Okay. So it looks like it's about to land on... <laughs> yeah, you're right. But I didn't do that. You know?
<laughs> Look, I'm playing the game fair and square. Okay, who won? No, Shadow won. All right, that's the game, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll post the winner on there, but thanks for playing. Thanks for hanging out. You guys have a great rest of your Friday night or Saturday morning. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go look at some bikes for me. <laughs> Peace.